my phone rang. You want by yourself tonight? Yeah. Well, we have you. Yeah. 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 No, no, I thought uh, Mal was out there. Oh, we've got to have Satan guys for next week. He's like, can I get the house started, man? Oh, sure. Yeah. You always have to say things like that. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. If this is going to go down to 9, uh, 75 miles an hour plus. There's still hurricane uh, tracking planes out there looking at it, and it looks like it's going to be a big one. We have with us Gilbert P. Clark, and uh, this particular hurricane is his namesake. Gilbert's been with the Hurricane Center for what, 35 years. He should own the place by now. Uh, Gilbert, just how big is this storm? How dangerous is it? Well, it covers an area all over the whole eastern Caribbean, all north. We have Gale Force Wind even reported north of Puerto Rico and almost down into South America, so it's just a big storm of action. Still continuing on its westward trek at last report, right? That's right, it's moving about 15 miles per hour. Okay, if it were to continue on that trek, and uh, let's say it's uh, the distance that it is now from the United States, how soon would it begin to impact anything in the United States? Now? Well, it'll take about three days for it to get into the west. And on the track now, we'll begin to feel some of the wind probably uh, by uh, three days. Okay, but the computer models take it due west or almost due west? That's right, they move it just slightly north or west, and uh, it ends up well south of uh, South Park. Okay. So right now, there's no immediate danger for South Florida from this particular storm, but it's so big, as Gilbert said, uh, it could be a danger to us uh, in the next two or three days. 
Latest position is latitude 16.0 north, longitude 67.3 west. Rick, Jackie. Well, the Hurricane Center does expect it to weaken just a little bit as it goes across UK and then to intensify once again out of the Gulf of Mexico. And they are officially forecasting this thing by sometime on Friday to be just off the coast of Galveston, Texas. However, they're cautioning everyone that this is a 72-hour forecast. It could be very unreliable. It's very iffy that far down the road. It's, uh, it's a low-pressed low area.